Okay, to um, start our unit on circular functions, we're going to take a look at how we measure angles. So you're probably quite used to measuring angles in degrees, and what we're going to look at today is another measure of angles uh, that we use in trigonometry called radians. So first of all, an angle is a measure of rotation, and like I said, you're used to using the system of degrees, where one degree is uh, one three hundred and sixtieth of a full turn. So you know a circle, a full circle is 360 degrees, um, and this was attributed to the ancient Babylonians, so they came up with this system. They liked using numbers in base 60, um, so they, they cut a circle into 360 equal degrees. However, in many mathematical and scientific applications, um, it's more appropriate to measure angles in radians. So we're going to take a look at that today. So first of all, what is a radian? Um, well, one radian, so if we had a circle, okay, any circle that had a radius of length r, a radian is the angle that we get when we take um, the radius and get get an arc length that is the same as the radius here. So that angle there is one radian. So one radian is equal to the angle subtended by an arc length of R. So in a complete circle here, I have uh, two pi radians. That's approximately 6.28 radians. Okay, but we leave it in terms of pi so that it is... Um, it's not rounded. Okay, and you'll probably remember that the circumference of a circle uh, of radius r is equal to 2 pi times the radius. So that's where we get that um, notation from. Okay, we can write one radian as uh, either one rad or one with a little c at the top. That's a nota notation for radians. And to work out uh, how how many degrees one radian is, well we know that 2 pi radians is a complete circle uh, and that's equal to 360 degrees. So if we wanted to get just one radian, we'd have to divide both sides by 2 pi. So one radian is going to be equal to 180 degrees over pi, which is approximately 57.6 degrees. Okay, but again, in order to eliminate any rounding, we would normally write it like this. One radian is equal to 180 degrees over pi. Okay, so if we want to um, convert from degrees to radians, we need to use the fact that one degree is equal to pi over 180. Okay, so in order to go from degrees to radians, all I need to do is multiply my degrees by pi over 180. This will give me, sorry, 180 degrees. What happens here is the unit of degrees cancels out, and I get 60 pi over 180. Uh, and then cancelling here, I get that goes in one third. So... I get that 60 degrees is pi over 3. Okay, trying another one, same thing. I'm going from degrees to radians. I multiply by pi over 180 degrees. That gives me 270 pi over 180. And then I just need to simplify that fraction. So 90 will go into 273 times, and it will go into 180 twice. So that means 270 degrees is 3 pi over 2. Okay, negative 120 degrees, same thing. I'm going to multiply by pi over 180 degrees, which equals negative 120 pi over 180. And simplifying that, I get negative 2 pi over 3. Okay, going the other way around, if I want to go from radians to degrees, then this time I need to multiply by 180 degrees over pi. And you'll see that you know you've kind of got it the right way around because if I'm going into degrees, my pi's should cancel out. So here I get 360 degrees divided by 3, which is 120 degrees. Same thing for this one. You can stop the video and just try these on your own if you want to see if you can do it on your own. Uh, if not, follow along with me. So we get 11 pi divided by 6 times 180 degrees 
over pi. So those pi's cancel out, and then what I would do is I would do some cross-canceling here. So 6 goes into 6 once, and 6 goes into 180 30 times. So what I get is 11 times 30 degrees, which is 330 degrees over 1, so just 330 degrees. Last one, same thing, multiply this by 180 degrees over pi. My pi's cancel out. So I'm left with negative 180 degrees over 4, which is equal to negative 45 degrees. Okay, so for the purpose of this video is just to introduce you to uh, a different measure for angles called radians, and you need to be able to convert between both radians and degrees. Okay, so now you're ready to go into chapter 6a. If you could try questions 1 to 6, uh, and you can do every other one.